What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome back to my 6th episode now of Let's Play Ultimate Team. First things first then, let's just have a look at the squad here. As you can see then, we do have two bronze players left. We've got one in the left mid position and one in the centre defensive mid position, which has been covered by a centre mid. Uh, but this is the first game we do go into. We don't make any purchases, first of all, this game. Uh, we did have uh, Sirigu, this is his first game making the debut for the squad. But the first game we do come up against here, it is an extremely strong squad. He's got that pace. He had Bale, Tevez and Walcott, I believe, was another quick player he's got in that squad. But I didn't let the fact his team was a lot better than mine put me down. He did have uh, my advantage over him was the fact his chemistry was poor, even though I believe, I think it was 99 or 100, uh, but all the players seemed to be out of formation. So none of them would be making those exceptional runs like such as that. I mean, the linking up of my squad at the moment is absolutely unbelievable. I'm pretty much uh, pleased with every single person, apart from Guy, which is that left mid bronze player who is absolutely shocking. Um, so I did manage to get the 3-0 lead by the 37th minute. Bia Biani there getting a goal on the score sheet, which is not too bad. Went into the half time uh, in a 3-0 lead. And the funny thing about this game uh, was the guy I was playing was, I'm going to guess, around 10 to 12 years old, simply because he didn't have his mic muted. And all I could hear while playing this game was his mum screaming at him to get off the Xbox and come for dinner. And he was trying to explain to his mum how it couldn't be paused because he was playing online, which was quite amusing for me to listen to while I was playing. But Nonetheless, he did manage to get himself a goal back here then in the 56th minute, so there goes the clean sheet, but there was no way he was going to pull this back. I was literally all over him. I'm not sure if I've included the uh, match facts in the end, but how I missed that, I don't know. The guy actually, um, well, the kid, I should say, did let off a massive scream when I missed that, and uh, I was just laughing to myself, and Pastore here, the cheeky little bastard, managed to rob the goal there in the 72nd minute, so I believe that was 5-0, and uh, Remy actually came to life like in the, the end of this game here. I love Lovely bit of dribbling there from him in the 76th minute to get his second goal and pretty much the exact same his centre backs company and Vidic I believe they were just couldn't get the ball off uh, Pastor, uh, Remy sorry and that did actually get him the hat trick so he was absolutely brilliant as you can see there a 9.8 rating got us 700 coins as well, as well which is a lot so that was another three uh, points to put us into uh, getting closer and closer to the second division I believe that is so we did have to go have a look at the squad here some contracts were expiring let's give it a little bit of TLC but straight after that then we did go and head into our second game of this episode and it was a brilliant squad you got Pepe Poyo and Mascherano I believe that was it's changed too quickly so we were looking at a brilliant brilliant squad but I didn't let that put me down because the majority of the squads that I've been playing uh, have been a lot better than mine but Remy here then a lovely pass and that was a lovely ball to Remy as well I'm not sure who that was but we did manage to get the goal in the, the second minute from Aubameyang, who Aubameyang, considering I scored seven goals in that first game, how he just didn't appear anywhere, I didn't couldn't even find one highlight where uh, he managed to get himself an opportunity. How that wasn't a free kick to me, or uh, which could have possibly led to a goal easily, because it was an off-the-ball collision, which I thought EA had said they were going to be fixing for FIFA 13, but apparently they didn't. But Aubameyang did get me the second goal there in the 11th minute, which did lead this guy on to rage quit in the 10th minute. Um... 2-0 in the 10th minute, that isn't by any means the game over. I mean, I've seen people pull back three goals within the last 10 minutes, so I don't know why he did quit. But in our last and final game for this episode, then, this is arguably one of the best game, uh, teams Sorry, we have come up against so far in this ep in this series alone. And that, uh, that assist was absolutely, I'll call it a peach, because that is what I will call a peach. A great ball to Navas there to put him 1-0 up uh, in whatever minute that was. And I literally fell, up, fell to pieces. I like... Like I said in my last episode, I'm either smashing my opposition's back doors in, um, or I just literally crumble. And, I mean, how, th how that's a penalty, I do not know. This guy was absolutely all over me. He did get cocky, and he did put Victor Valdez on the penalty there. And he did miss, and I did manage to go on the counter-attack, which is always good considering the goal is open. No one's in it. Victor Valdez there, as slow as he is. Yet, yeah, how's that? I'm not even going to... I mean, the way that my two strikers, Bamyang and Remy, have been performing this whole series is absolutely amazing. And how he didn't score that, I don't know. But my defence just seemed to be everywhere. My midfield just didn't know what to do. Bamyang and Remy were just all over the shot. So I did go to half-time at 3-0 down. But as I just said, 3-0 down is nothing. I mean, you can bag three goals in 10 minutes easily if you do make a few substitutions. But I'm so early on in Ultimate Team, I don't even have any substitutions to make. And if I did, they were just going to be bronze players out of chemistry and out of formation so it was best not to make any subs and he was getting himself goals at left right and center so I did get a free kick here 
And he put a player on the line, so everything was just going wrong for me. I just couldn't do anything. Every chance I did get was either being blocked, hitting the post, or just anything horrible was going on. And as I said, look, my two centre-backs just seemed to slide tackle at the exact same time, win the ball. But because they're both lying around, playing roly-polies on the floor, begging my pardon, I've just hiccuped. Um, and everything, look, I mean, Remy, he can take it past Victor Valdez there, and... When he just needs to bury it in the back of the net, he just couldn't do it, and everything was going wrong. But in the 90th minute, I did manage to uh, cancel out his clean sheet, which I was pleased with. Sacco did manage to bag himself a goal there in the 90th minute, but nonetheless, that was my, unfortunately my second defeat for this series, which isn't too bad. I mean, Higuain there got a 9.4 rating. He was all over me. Looking at the stats, six shots on target and only managed to bury one compared to his 12, and he did manage to bag five. So that was at zero points for that game. I did head over to my trade part and relist everything, so I'm trying to get as many coins as I can, as I'm only down to 2,500, but by the time I have bought um, Michelle Bastos here, which cost me 2,300 coins now, um, I am only left with those 200 coins. So we do go over and send them to my squad, which means we are down to 10 gold players, meaning we've only got that one bronze player left, which I cannot wait to get rid of. That left mid, that guy bronze player that we have got rid of here, uh, he was so bad. Like Every single game, I was noticing whenever he got the ball, he was taking rubbish touches and just losing me the ball. So we are down to one centre attacking mid, and that is uh, all for this episode, unfortunately. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. All the support you've been giving me is absolutely amazing. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, and until my next one, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.